Caitlin, and uh, I'm, I'm filming this on the 23rd. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> uh, so as of this moment, this particular moment in time, of all the ones that I had on my priority list, uh, I'm missing three. And uh, I got the ones that I wanted the most, honestly, so I'm okay. Uh, I'm not gonna bitch too much about everything, but, um, it was bad. <laughs> it was bad, but I don't think it's something to lose our heads over. Uh, I was stressing out last night just because I think I was more or less feeding off a lot of others. <laughs> um, and I checked into Dallas's live stream, and all those, they were pretty chill. You know, he had Dal Dallas was on there and A3 Pop Talk and Silver Held Wolf and someone else. And they were pretty chill. And uh, we were pretty much just making jokes and stuff about it in the Discord, uh, Tylox PWO Discord. So, you know, it's the energy that you have to surround yourself with in order to calm you down. How stressful situations. This kind of thing, it's aggravating, but it's nothing to. It's, it's nothing to lose our heads over, um, because in the end of the day, this is just hunks of plastic, and, uh, there's more to be worried about in the world, honestly. But, uh, yeah, it is frustrating, uh, especially since there was actually a bunch that I wanted this year. I didn't make a want video this year, um, because I already had enough videos to upload, and I didn't really want to do another one. Um... But yeah, I actually had a few that I wanted this year. So the only ones I'm, as of this moment, that I'm missing is obviously the Black Lightning one. I really want the Black Lightning one, honestly, because I love that show. Um, Flock Mewtwo. I didn't get anything off the Funko Shop. Um, and also the Glitter Mr. Freeze. Uh, other than that, I'm pretty good and I'm pretty happy. Hopefully everything comes in alright. If not, again, it's nothing to bitch and whine about all that much, but I did end up getting the Cyborg Superman in Target today. Now, <laughs> I won't complain too much about the aggravation on the shop, but I will complain about the aggravation about the shipping. So I understand that a lot of places didn't get their shipments uh, as readily as they used to, you know, before uh, the world changed. <laughs> So I understand that. Um, but I still think there needs to be some care taken in the shipping process. So Target had two of these out on display on the shelf. They were trash. <laughs> Absolute total garbage <laughs> was the way it looked. It was crushed here. They were crushed in the back. It was horrible. Like, it literally looked like I'm gripping it now and someone just squeezed. I don't know if that's what happened, but that's almost what it looked like. Um, so I asked someone if they could check in the back, and they brought this one back out. This one still has a bit of a dent into it, but this is nothing. Compared to what the others were, this is nothing. And I asked about the Stanley. The Stanley wasn't on my want list, but I was gonna get it, uh, for, you know, if they had them, I was gonna get one or two for other friends if they needed it. It didn't happen, so did not happen but anyway let's go ahead and get this guy out so this is the only one I have in my possession as of right now so I decided not to go to GameStop I'm gonna go to GameStop tomorrow um to see if there's anything left because uh, I got Vulpix online as soon as it came available and I wouldn't mind having the uh, again Mr. Freeze or even the Hello Kitty um, but I can live without those if I don't get them but this thing rocks. So Cyborg Superman is a Cyborg Superman. Robo Su Superman has had many like robot clones throughout the years, but damn, this is cool. This this is better than the Robo Batman. <laughs> I'll be honest, this is way better than the Robo Batman. This thing rocks. I love that it still has the cape completely intact. This is cool. So his face is fully ripped across the side. You can see the yellow eye, or yellow, the red eye. This is freaking cool. This is one of the coolest Superman pops we've ever gotten, for sure. Uh, a lot of Superman 
you know, I've complained about this before. A lot of the Superman pops we get is just Superman over and over and over again without much change. This is a change. This is a change. Yes. <laughs> I still think there's plenty more they can do. Um, but th this is a good step in the right direction, Funko. Uh, so mine's got some metallic paint that part of it just scratched off, so hopefully I can scratch the rest of it off. Uh, other than that, though, paint job looks pretty sick. And I noticed this on, yeah, it's on the concept art on the box, too. I don't really understand why half his shield is duller than the rest. Maybe I'm forgetting a part where it was like that in the books or something. I don't know if you guys can tell, but one the half with its robot is like duller. It's almost like Bizarro color is on his shield. Or his logo or whatever you want to call it. But this is cool. It almost looks like a Metallo too. And that's another character we need from the DC Universe. A Metallo pop would be freaking sick. I mean, come on. That would be amazing. Especially if they made it glow. Ah, oh, that's awesome. And by the way, everyone who is disappointed about not getting the um, Black Lightning, chances are, especially with a character like Black Lightning, they're going to do another pop like they did with Nessie and make it glow. Uh, chances are that are going to happen. Now, while I was at Target, I found something for the very first time. Um... And I was like, what the hell? Because <laughs> everything else was kind of going to crap when it came to Funko, so I may as well get something that's a little bit fun, right? So I got a pack of their Battle World uh, series. So this is a set by Funko. Not a lot of collectors are getting into it. In fact, I think the only people I've seen, or the only person I've seen open some of these is Fox Crown. Um, but this is kind of cool. Or no, I've seen uh, PS Toy reviews, but they're not uh, Funko. They're just toys in general. Um, but this is cool. So this is a new game, a strategy game by Funko that's meant for younger kids. So they made, like, the, uh, Funkoverse game for, like, uh, adults, I believe. Or, you know, teenagers, adults, and these ones are for, like, kids. I'm definitely not going to be playing the game. I just want the little figures. <laughs> little bitty figures. So, uh, they only had the one that had the black suit Spider-Man in the store. But, yeah, I figured, why not? Let's go ahead and see what all this is. I mean, if anything else, it's just going to be fun to open, right? Oh, okay, so there's some that are just... I thought they were all going to be, like, blind bags. You know, except for the visible one. But there's three just down in the box. Let me make sure I'm getting everything out. I'm not going to explore all this crap in detail, but at least I can show you guys. So there's some little, it almost looks like when you're playing Pokemon game, the uh, poison and damage counters. But these have like Thanos on them. Yeah, it just says the licensing on the back. So Thanos heads and there's the sun and the moon on that bigger part. I'm not going to punch those out. And that is a checklist and a, uh, probably a rule book. Again. I don't really care <laughs> what the rules are because I ain't playing the game. And then here are all the strategy cards. And then here are all of the stands for your characters, which is pretty cool. So you get a die. Uh, you get a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. <laughs> a twelve-sided die. <laughs> in there. So this is like a beginner kit to Dungeon and Dragons almost. So so these two mystery cards I believe coincide with the ones that are in the blind capsules here. So let's get Spider-Man out first. I know it said SDCC Hall or Virtual Hall or whatever the hell I decided to name this thing. But Let's have a little bit of fun with blind bags anyway. Just so we can. <laughs> so this thing is actually really cool. It's like a gunmetal gray Spider-Man. This is really cool. 
So their thing is that you can put it on the little peg here. And then the very first card on the stack is the one that goes, oh, it's negative zone Spider-Man, okay. And there's a little slot there. So when you're playing the game, I guess you just stay in it like that. I haven't seen anyone play the game. I've just seen people open the figures. But I think that's kind of cool. Uh, I don't really care about the cards. I'll probably just give them uh, to my cousin. Because uh, she has a thing about wanting to go through my Pokemon card collection. And I don't like her going through my Pokemon card collection. So maybe these will stop her. Uh, but there is another uh, Spider-Man here. So we have the regular Spider-Man. I imagine his card is somewhere in that little deck. Um, I'm probably not going to go through the cards, guys. I'm sorry, but I care more about the little figures. So here's regular Spider-Man. I don't know if you were to get, um, you know, this pack with the Spider-Man, if the little figures that come with it would be the same in all of them. I really don't know. Uh... But, you know, again, I like that Funko is doing stuff for younger kids. Because it kind of helps with the whole family collecting aspect. So here is Ant-Man with really big bug eyes. Like, wow. <laughs> that is cool. Oh, that's so cute. But yeah, it's something that the family can do. do. There's a bunch of family, you know, Funko tubers here on YouTube. Uh stack and pops four pack so I think that's really cool and here is shout out to Admiral Funko we got Loki Loki looks the coolest so far <laughs> but it's not that hard with his horns that he looks the coolest so I will say the ones I want the most I saw in the back there is a cat Captain America and a frog Thor yeah, those are the ones I want. <laughs> so, this thing looks like it's just foam. Yeah. It's almost like cracking open a fortune cookie. It's almost the same consistency as a fortune cookie. Uh, well, I did get an animal character, but not the one I wanted. This is a pack for Cory, for sure, because I got <laughs> Spider-Ham. That is pretty cool. I'm going to try and put it so you guys can see the ears. Oh, that's cute. Okay, I still want the frog, though. <laughs> okay, so let's... So I'm just cracking it along the seam. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do. The other one came apart a little bit. Yeah, this one's indenting in. So that one came apart a lot quicker. And, oh, did I get a special one? Because it's like a translucent Iron Man. That's cool. I don't know. Where's the thing? Uh, oh, cool. Okay, so this is an ultra rare. Okay, so the ones that you get that are solid colors are ultra are, uh, ultra rare. The Iron Man is infin Infinity Iron Man. So it's supposed to be like the Infinity Stones. <laughs> if I can talk, Lord. So... I don't see negative Spider-Man on the list. I guess they only put the ones that are in blind bags. Because Spider-Man and Spider-Ham... Ant-Man... Where's Loki? Loki, they're all common. So I didn't get any rares. Uh, which the Frog Thor is. <laughs> uh, but I did get the Ultra Rare. So that's kind of cool. And there's also... For anyone who's collecting the zombie line, there are some zombie characters in here as well. Uh, Mysterio, Red Skull, and Venom. So, you guys can check that out if you want. Uh, and if you're, uh, really wanting them now and you didn't know they existed before I just said that, I am sorry. But, but these are kind of really cute. I mean, I don't think it's anything I'm going to be purchasing readily again. But if I see these on sale anytime soon, I can see myself picking up a pack. And, again, these cards are kind of cool. Uh, yeah. All the ones that we got uh, in the bottom of the pack, there was a card connecting with it. Um, and those ones will be Spider-Ham and Infinity uh, Iron Man's cards. So that's pretty cool. Again, 
it's fun. <laughs> it was fun to do, do a little blind bag opening. Because I just like blind, blind bags. <laughs> and they're fun to do after you have a stress-filled night full of trying to get a damn shipping rate. <laughs> but anyway, guys, let me know how you fared uh, during the uh, virtual con. Um, yeah. I'm happy with this guy, though. I'm honestly happy with what I d was able to get. Um, it's just stressful in the moment, and then you just kind of have to let yourself cleanse a little bit. Uh, and just know that there's more important stuff to worry about. So, anyway guys, let me know what you guys think of the Battle World uh, figures. I can honestly, honestly, if these were marketed a different way, if you took these exact same figures and marketed it towards adults, like they did with the pint-sized heroes or something, every Funko YouTuber would be buying these things. <laughs> the fact that they're almost like disguising them in this little thing and putting them in the toy section. It's kind of sneaky on Funko's part, honestly. But, uh, yeah, let me know, know what you guys think of them. And uh, thank you all so much for watching. Remember, like always, it's community, not competition. I'll see you guys later. Bye.